Okay, today we've got a Western Digital uh, My Drive. Uh, was it My Book? Sorry, My Book. Um, I've got a problem with the white light, uh, which is basically it's it's not talking to my computer. It's not talking to the network. So I want to take the hard drive out and try and recover the files before I get do anything else. Um, so how to open this? What you've got on the back. There's basically four clips. There's two here and two on the other side. And what you want is something, because a lot of people use a screwdriver, but I think a screwdriver is a bit too thin. I recommend using something that's quite wide. This is out my uh, Swiss Army knife kit. Um, and basically you want to try and work your way in and then just slide up a bit and it will pop because the clip will push in and then the cover will pop off. And you do that on both sides. Like I said, it's only four clips, not difficult, but using something a bit wider will cut down on the, the chance of scratching or damaging the actual case. And once that's done, it will slide off. It might be a bit stiff, um, but there's nothing really holding it getting in the way. Uh, one of the things we did have on this one, though, there's a bit of a rubber block uh, that cuts down on vibration. Uh, that was actually jamming it, so it had to give it a little bit of a tweak. But as you can see, there's nothing else in there. There's nothing that should be stopping it coming off. And it just slides in. There's a groove on the top there. It lines up. And that's how you take the thing apart. And as you can see, you've got the, the hard drive in here. Okay, so now we're going to remove the drive. The first thing is, there's a little bit of plastic here. Uh, basically, what it is, is just illuminating uh, the front panel. All you need to do is basically just take that out. And then what you've got is four rubberized feet, which are basically what's holding the hard drive in. Um, you'll find it quite stiff um, to remove. Um, but basically you've got two this side and two that side. And what you need to do is sort of push the drive out a little bit on this side, but just watch the ports. You don't overstretch it and uh, put too much stress on it. Um, you'll find that there's a little bit of the bracket may overlap on the top and catch on the clips which may make it difficult to get out you just need to prise it until it fits you know until something gives like here look you can see there's a clip actually catching on it so what you do is just flex it out a little bit just to let that go past then slowly edge it out of the case it is really tight but it will go like I said, the main thing is not to overdo it. Look, see that it's caught there? It's caught on the metal frame. So drop that down, get the, get that back in. There you go, it's gone round it now. And then just edge it out. Don't worry about the feet coming off because they, they just slip on anyway. And that's it. That's how you get it out of the case. Now, once you've got it out, you need to remove the screws um, to either take that off the hard drive, um, yeah, because you'll need to undo it and just pull it off so you can remove your drive to put a new drive in on. Or in this case, I'm taking this out so I can actually put it onto my computer um, and access this drive. One of the things I will say is these are in Linux. So what you the soft, to, software to read this, um, just look in the comments section there'll be a link to a piece of software that will allow you to access this drive so that you can get get your data off it um, because as soon as i plug this into windows it's not going to recognize it because it's a linux drive um, but at the same time pull the data off keep your stuff safe and then you can do whatever you need whether it's to change the drive or in this case just want to reformat it and try and get the thing going again because um, the drive's working um, and this is just just a bit of a headache with having to take the drive out to empty it, get my data back together, then rebuild the thing. All right, thanks for watching.